So today we have with us uh, Dr. Anubhik Sarkar and he would let us know about the various uh, centers of excellence that has ensured uh, uh, has. Yeah. So under the School of Energy Technology and School of Technology, we have several centers of excellence and some of the section, centers of excellence are of world class level. Here we can see one of the centers of excellence which is in Manukit and Kangan Institute, Australia where we have several modules of the cars in dissected forms and we have welding operations, we have robotics operations there and we have spraying operations. We have 64 modules here which are for studying and we impart training along with Maruti to the students and also to the practitioners. The next center of excellence is on the cement automotive center of excellence which is in, in with the hand holding of cements and here also we see that there are many simulations in the battery on the automotive side and this is under the school of technology. <coughs> we have the next generation computing lab and we can see the Apple lab here where next generation computing is happening. We can see the students are sitting here and working on AI and ML. They are very good in simulating things and simulating the real field scenario under this Apple lab. It is one of the best labs which BDU has. We go to the School of Energy Technology and we can actually see three different centers here. We can see the biodiesel plant which is on in our campus. This is sponsored by Shell and we have got funding for Shell. Along with the Shell we have done a biodiesel production plant which produces 100 liters per hour from waste cooking oil. We are also into green hydrogen from saline water and we produce 6,000 liter per day of green hydrogen. This is also showcased with the help of Shell company and we are working on the same. We have a carbon capture and sequestration which is on PPD and this capture has been traded with company with USA. These are some of the centers which PDU showcases. We have 16 centers and we can come to another center which is on 3D metal printing. We can print metals which is stainless steel, titanium, cobalt, chromium and this is based on laser where layer by layer constructive products are created in the energy sector and in the biomedical sector. We have the next one which is on the smart grid and micro grid where we have 36 kilowatt of rooftop solar and 5 kilowatt of wind which is hybridized and that goes into grid. This is the Akmanilbar initiative where 10% of the energy comes back into the flotech battery which is based on vanadium balances on the cathode and anode side and it stores energy which charges the heavy vehicle both two wheelers and four wheelers. This is a great option which we have 45 megawatt of solar PV panel assembly which we are making a section 8 company. This is a product line from a stringer stabber into the robotics and then into the yield tester. We have the simulators, we have the laminators and then we place the modules which goes into the market. We have several trainings which we will train the students not only from Gujarat but also throughout India. We boast that this is one of the best centers in the academia which PDU hosts. So we have in total 16 center of excellence which are sponsored by various funding agencies. We have 62 projects at this moment and these 62 projects are funded externally. We have 250 patents and we have publications of the order of 840 publications in Scooper Singer's journal last year which is record of its time. Thank you.